seven things I wish I'd known before starting a business. Hey, are you thinking about starting a business online? You want to make some money online, big bucks. Well, you gotta follow some rules and I wish I'd known all these rules, but in this video, I'm going to share them with you so that you could be successful online and we're starting right now. Hey, I'm J.R. Fisher. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the videos. I really do. All you got to do though, if you want to see more of them is hit that subscribe button down there. Don't forget to hit subscribe button. And there's a bell that's going to pop up. It's going to look just like this ring the bell turn on all notifications when you do that i'll be able to notify you every single time i do a new video i go live you'll be in front of the line you'll be part of the fisher family you want that it's pretty cool now i've been selling online since 2009 quite a long time now and i've learned a lot along the way but i've also sold millions of dollars worth of digital and physical products and on this channel what i do is i share with you all those tips tricks and techniques that are going to help you make money online also so let's get started you know i gotta tell you when i first started my working career i was told to go to school i was told to maybe go get a college degree which i did and get out and get a great job work for a company get a gold watch and retire and i did all of those steps pretty much uh, i did go to college I, I got out and there were no jobs i think i was bartending at the time and i was teaching at a business college and I eventually worked my way into sales and doing something like that. But the thing I realized as my career went on was that I really wasn't happy. I wasn't happy working for somebody else. I saw mistakes they were making. I saw things I thought they were doing wrong. And I, I wanted to have my own time. I wanted to work for myself. So I started my online business and there were certain things I didn't know, certain things I did know because I'd had some years working behind me. But what I want to do is share with you in this video, things that can really help you out when you're starting your business online. So if you're ready, let's get going. And don't forget also, I have a course below. It's a $97 course. You can get it absolutely free. It's click and learn, no credit card required. The first thing I want to tell you is networking and relationships matter. They matter a lot. Okay. That's the first thing. And when I first started my business, I pretty much worked on my own. I didn't really talk to other people. I may talk to some other businesses that were selling our products because we had survival food, but I never really went out and networked. I never really went to any digital marketing things. And once I started doing that, I started meeting a lot more people and it wasn't really the people, but some of the methods that they were doing that I didn't know about that really, really helped my business. And if I hadn't have done that, I think, you know, my business would have faltered and I wouldn't have made near as much money. But since I met with all these people and I networked with these people, I, I was able to stay on top of what's new in the market and the ways to market and different ways to make money. So yeah, I'd say the first thing I would tell you is that relationships really do matter. The next thing is working more hours doesn't help you exceed, but working on the right things do that's number two. And what I mean by that, I remember when my sales went down a little bit, we had a warehouse in Poway, um, California. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to work on. I didn't know whether to make videos. I didn't know whether to run ads. I was starting to run some banner ads and they, they were just a total waste of money. And I didn't know what to do. So the next thing I'm going to tell you is that figure out what really works. And I can't tell you for your business, but you could research it. Uh, I started researching some of my competitors and what they were doing and how they were selling things and you know, what they were doing for marketing. And that really helped me a lot. But what happened was i started working on the right things instead of the wrong things some you know in, in the beginning i was working all day long on things that really didn't do anything to help my business it wasn't that i wasn't working hard i just wasn't doing the right things i remember telling my wife i was like i don't even know what to work on you know if i knew what to work on i would go do that i don't have a clue what to work on and eventually i did figure that out and that all worked out but the thing is you got to be working on the right thing working hard is not going to get you there if you're working on the wrong thing the next thing I'll tell you is follow one course until you hit success. Now, what I mean by that is there's a lot of ways to be successful online. You can do sales funnels. You can run ads. You can do sales pages. You can, I don't know, do social media. You can do tweets. You can do videos. You can do whatever, but in all those ways you can be successful. So I would tell you to look for the one that is going to work for you. And the best way to do that is find some competitors that are really good at whatever that is. Maybe it's sales funnels. Maybe it's doing giveaways, you know, maybe it's social media or videos, find out what they're doing and start working on that. And don't quit that thing until you're successful at it. I remember I started email marketing in the beginning and I was terrible at it. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to write. I didn't know what to put my emails, but I worked at it. 
and I met people who were sending out emails and who were getting good results and how they were doing it and you know all the interactions within sales funnels and I learned all that stuff and it started working for me so a lot of these things you're gonna try and you're gonna say well that one doesn't work they all work okay they all work you weren't doing it right that's the problem so you know be a big enough person to realize if other people are doing it it does work and if it's not working for you it's what you're doing that's not working not that that way of doing it doesn't work the next one is don't wait for opportunities to come okay because they may not they may not um, I, I started going to some digital marketing conventions and meetings and that type of thing and I met a lot of really cool people but I always made it a point to let them know about my business and what I was doing. And some of you guys are going to be embarrassed. You're like, well, I don't want to tell people about my business. They're going to think I'm trying to get business. You are trying to get business. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the fact that you have a business and you have good products and you have good services and you would like to share that business with other people. You should do that. Okay. If you're too embarrassed to talk about your own business, what makes you think anybody else is going to want to now? Here's a huge one. The next one is improve your writing skills. I hated to write in school. I hated to write. I didn't like to read. I didn't like to write. And you know, I told myself when I got out of school, man, I'm never going to write anything again. And nothing could be further from the truth. <laughs> I've written courses. I've written blogs. I've written sales pages. I've written books. I've written, Oh my God, I've written so much, but improving my writing skills was vastly helpful to my business. Because if I improve my writing skills, all of a sudden my emails are going to be better. I can communicate better these writing skills when you're working online understand the only way you have to convince people online is through video or through text that's it and maybe audio okay audio and video are pretty much the same thing but the bottom line is if you can't write and if you don't have a good command of the english language or spanish or german or whatever your language is then you're not going to do well online because you need to communicate and sell your products and services to people through writing through videos through audios you've got to be able to do that the next thing is always think long term okay don't think short term don't think the quick buck um, if you're selling products online stand behind those products you know if, if somebody wants a refund they want their money back give them their money back okay now if you have a refund policy that doesn't allow and they're totally against what your refund policy is i get that but treat customers right you know treat them respectful it doesn't matter if they're spending twenty dollars with you or they're spending two thousand dollars with you you need to treat them equally because that twenty dollar guy that just spent 20 bucks with you the next sale may be two thousand dollars okay so it's very important to understand that a customer is a customer is a customer it doesn't matter how much they spend with you you always want to think long term what can you do to make your company look better make you look better make your services products look better think long term the next thing is the best knowledge comes from your own personal experience you know you can listen to people tell you how to do things and you say well gee i know this subject matter now um i, I was a pilot many years ago um and you know they told us how to fly i mean they told us how to do it but until you got into an airplane and you got behind the controls and you tried to land and take off you know it was different it was different it was a different feeling than just reading about it in a book you can't fly an airplane by just reading a book you have to physically go out there and do it and i see so many people who want to sell online make money online and they want to hire all these people to do all these things for them they want to hire people to build the website they want to hire people to do blogs they want to hire people to do videos their ads everything and they never really learn anything and if you don't really learn anything how are you going to manage people doing these things for you you can't manage what you don't know now i guess my final thoughts on this is that you have an incredible opportunity nowadays. I mean, it is off the charts incredible. There is so much out there nowadays, so many ways to make money through social media, through ads, through affiliate stuff, through your own products, to coaching, to there's just so much you can do. And for you not to take advantage of an internet craze. I mean, what's going to happen to some of you out there. And I, I hate to say this, but it's the truth. You know, one day you're going to be old and done. And your grandchildren are going to say didn't didn't you see the opportunity online hey grandpa hey grandma you didn't realize that people were making millions of dollars online and you stayed in that crappy job why would you do that the whole world is the internet now nobody hardly goes to jobs why didn't you participate participate okay the first way you can participate is i have a course down below it's a 97 dollars course i'll give it to you free all you gotta do is click and learn opt in grab the course no credit card required but the point is 
with the internet now and it's like you can't even use the excuse of knowledge anymore I've, I've had people say well i don't know how to do this i don't know how to do that type it into the search you will learn how to do it type in i want to watch videos on how to do seo i want to watch videos on how to do affiliate marketing i want to watch videos on uh, i sell survival food don't don't type in that one i don't want any more competition but <laughs> type in something that you want to do what you want to learn and sit down and start watching videos get off netflix okay i like netflix but i don't watch netflix all day long maybe one show at a time that's it right you got to cut yourself off doesn't mean you shouldn't have any fun doesn't mean you shouldn't enjoy your downtime but the point is spend some of your time watching and learning if you don't watch and learn you're not going to grow if you don't grow you won't stay ahead of all these people that are doing these things because there are people that are doing them there are people out there folks i'm telling you they're brilliant and they're they're making a lot of money and they're brilliant because they learn stuff online they weren't brilliant before i know i wasn't i didn't know how to send an email but i learned how to do these things i put them into practice and put some hard work to it and it works okay so i'm no different than you you can do this stuff but you got to follow these steps and you got to put forth the effort now i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it for you i really did but you got to do me a favor if you would hit that subscribe button down there that big button when you hit that button it's going to change colors it's magic it's magic it's going to go from like red to gray and then some more magic's going to happen there's going to be a bell and it's going to pop up right next to it and it'll sound just like that when you ring it but then there's one other thing you have to do you have to turn on all notifications not personalized but all notifications because that way every time i do a video you'll be notified when i go live you'll be notified you'll be in front of the line you'll be part of the fisher family the vip group that knows before anybody else don't you want that sure you do thank you so much for listening to this video i really appreciate it put your comments below if you got questions on this subject matter you've had some successes you've had some failures you need to know something put that in the comment section below i love to see it and i'll answer your questions and i appreciate you watching the video and i'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel